Hey everybody, it's Feasible Tax, and today we're taking a look at another one of my long guns. This is my absolute pride and joy. It is a number four Mark I Lee Enfield. Now I found this at a gun show uh, locally here in Vermont not too long ago, um, and the guy honestly didn't know what he had. I uh, picked it up for a couple of hundred dollars, uh, and I've looked through it every single piece uh, except for the bayonet and the magazine are matching. So, I don't really know a whole lot about the history of this gun. I just wanted to show it off, uh, give a little primer on Enfields. So, let's zoom in and have a closer look. So, the Lee Enfield is a bolt action, 10 round firearm. Um, <clears throat> It's been made pretty consistently for a very long time. It served in World War I, World War II, and a number of other smaller British conflicts. Um, this is a later model, uh, post-World War II. It's always struck me as odd because of how stubby the barrel looks. The, the stock goes all the way to the end of the barrel. Um, that's not something you see with a lot of guns. And it just, it's always kind of looked interesting to me. Now on here I have a spike bayonet. It did not come with the rifle. I bought this separately. Um, it's just a very generic piece of uh, milled iron bar with uh, the latching system that snaps right on to these lugs. I'm not sure if you can see them very well. Right here and here. Put it on, line it up, and twist it home. It's very simple. And then to release it, there's a small plunger on the underneath of the bayonet. You pull it off. Now, the action of the Lee Enfield is what really makes it great. It is generally considered to be one of the fastest bolt actions ever designed. It's uh, very smooth, and unlike a lot of firearms, it doesn't cock when you open it. It cocks when you close it. So, all the pressure of closing the bolt is what actually cocks it. Um, it does have a 10 round magazine that is detachable, however, they were not designed to be changed like magazines and firearms today. You would load them with stripper clips through these little notches here, two 5 round clips. The only reason they took they made these removable were for maintenance and replacement things like that. And this is not an original magazine. It is a reproduction. To take the bolt out of the Lee Enfield, first actually first let's talk about the sight. So, it has a generic open hole sight that goes to that front post. And it also is adjustable for range. However, mine is broken. It doesn't hold up at all. So I just shoot it with the generic battle sight, which I believe is 100 meters. The safety is a little lever here on the side. Pull it back and it's safe. You can't pull the trigger or cock the rifle. One thing I have noticed is that if you're putting pressure on the trigger and you release the safety it will go off. That's just something that I've noticed on my own. So to remove the bolt, flip up the sight, raise the bolt, it's a little lever here you press down on, lets you pull the bolt back far enough to flip up the bolt head and then it slides free. And I'm not going to disassemble this bolt because it is a pain in the ass to get back together. There are other tutorials for that. Now to reinstall the bolt, you pull the trigger, mess with it a bit, swear at it a little, get it back to where it was, lower that lever, lower the bolt head, and push it home. Now, I got this rifle because I love World War II firearms, I have a fairly large collection of them, and it's just in great shape. It's uh. Uh, brass butt plated. Uh, 
everything, all the serial numbers except for the magazine and the bayonet match. The wood is in great condition. It's a great, I love the coloring on the stock. It just looks like it's old and it's been through some stuff. And this is one of those guns that I'm sure could tell some stories if it could talk. So I know this was kind of a all over the place video, but um, if you got this far, I'm glad you stuck with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more about World War II firearms that I have, just let me know. Um, any suggestions for other videos, leave me a comment. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my content, subscribe would be great. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.